Hello viewers, in the previous video we discussed monodentate ligands. In the monodentate ligands, negative ligands, positive ligands and neutral ligands. Right now, we discuss bidentate ligands. Okay, in that bidentate ligand, first we discuss bidentate negative ligands. Okay, the so first one is sulfato. Sulfato. See, formula is SO4-2 and the structure of ligand is this one. Okay. And this star mark indicates the donor atom. Okay, so here in this sulfato ligand, these two oxygen atoms act as donor atoms. Means these two donate electron pair to the central metal atom or ion. So they form coordinate covalent bond with the metal atom or ion. And its symbol is SO4. Similarly, next to carbonato, CO3 minus 2 is the formula and this is the structure. So, so here oxygen these two oxygen atoms are donor atoms and the symbol is co3 next glycinato gly minus 1 and see here oxygen and nitrogen so this oxygen and nitrogen are the donor atoms so these two donate electron pair to the central metal atom or ion and the symbol is gly next alaninato alaninato ala minus 1 See here, oxygen and nitrogen are the donor atom. Look at the difference between these two, glycinato and alaninato. So they are generated from the amino acid. This is generated from glycine and it is from alanine. See here, the difference between these two is, this entire unit is the same. The only difference here in the place of hydrogen, we have a methyl group. Okay, glycinato, in glycinato, one of the hydrogen is substituted by methyl group, then that is alaninato okay simple if you remember this one just remember this difference between these two glycinato two hydrogens and alaninato one hydrogen and one methyl group to this carbon remaining everything is same okay and next oxalato okay so it is generated from oxalic acid so here this is the structure of oxalato and here also oxygen these two oxygens are the donor atoms Okay, next 8 hydroxy quinolinato. 8 hydroxy quinolinato. So here it is hydroxy quinoline. It is generated from hydroxy quinoline. See here, this nitrogen atom and this oxygen atom are the donor atoms. Okay, see here, in all these ligands, okay, here two oxygens are donor atoms. Here also two oxygen atoms are donor atoms. See here, one is oxygen, another one is nitrogen is the donor atom. Same here, oxygen and nitrogen. And in this ligand, two oxygens are donor atoms. See here, one is nitrogen, another one is oxygen atom. Okay, so generally, if the donor atom is the same, they are called as symmetrical bidentate ligands. Okay, symmetrical bidentate ligands. If donor atoms are different okay donor atoms are different then they are called as unsymmetrical bidentate ligands okay unsymmetrical bidentate ligands same donor atom symmetrical bidentate ligands different donor atom they are called as unsymmetrical bidentate ligands okay next acetyl acetonato acac minus 1 okay acetyl acetonato so it is the structure. So here two oxygen atoms are the donor atoms. And the symbol is ACAC. So this one is also same donor atom, right? So that's why it is a symmetrical bidentate ligand. And next, dimethyl glyoximato. Dimethyl glyoximato, DMG power minus 1. See here, two nitrogen atoms are the donor atoms. Two nitrogen, dimethyl glyoximato, nitrogen atoms. So it is also symmetrical ligand. And the symbol we can use this DMG with small letters or with the capital letters, no problem. Frequently both are used. Okay. Next, by guanido, by guanido, BIG power minus 1. See here, two nitrogen atoms are the donor atoms. Okay, these two are the donor atoms, and the symbol is BIG. Next, glycolato. Okay, glycolato. See here also oxygen atoms are the Donor atom, so it is also symmetrical. Okay, next salicylaldehydeato. Salicylaldehydeato. So here, this is the structure of salicylaldehydeato, and these two oxygens are the donor atoms. Next, catechylato. Okay, so this is the structure of catechylato, and 
So two oxygen atoms are the donor atom. Actually, for these three ligands, there is no specific symbol is given. Okay, so that's why the remember these structures. But here for these ligands, this symbol we have to remember. Okay. So next we discuss bidentate neutral ligands. Bidentate neutral ligand. Okay. So while remembering these structures, you must concentrate on the donor atom also. Okay, because the donor atom is very very important because the ligand is bonded to the central metal atom or ion through the donor atom only. So that's why you must concentrate on the donor atoms. To bidentate neutral ligands. Bidentate neutral ligands. Ethylene diamine and this is the formula and structure also. Okay, so ethylene diamine. So ethylene two amino groups. Okay, so the symbol is EN. Next, propylene diamine. So this is the propylene group and two amines are present and the symbol is PN. Okay, next trimethylene diamine. Trimethylene. See, three methylene groups are present. So that's why trimethylene diamine. Trimethylene diamine and the symbol is TN. Next, butylene diamine. This is butylene group and two amines. So that's why butylene diamine and the symbol is BN. Butylene diamine symbol is BN. Next, isobutylene diamine. So this group is isobutylene group, right? Isobutylene group. So isobutylene diamine. Isobutylene diamine and the symbol is IBN. See here in all these ligands, this nitrogen is the donor atom. Same here also. Nitrogen is the donor atom. Okay, here, so pyridentate neutral ligands, ethylene diamine symbol is EN, propylene diamine symbol is PN, trimethylene diamine symbol is TN, and butylene diamine symbol is BN, isobutylene diamine symbol is IBN. Okay, so these structures are very very similar, so you should be very careful while practicing these structures. Okay, so simple only, ethylene, okay, ethylene diamine. So two amine groups. Next, propylene diamine. Propylene group. What is propylene group? CH3, CH, CH. So propylene diamine. Next, trimethylene. Three methylene groups are present. So that's why trimethylene diamine. EN, PN, TN. Okay. EN, PN, TN. Right? Next one is hydrogen. NH2, NH2. And the symbol is N2H4. Here also two nitrogen atoms are the donor atoms. Next, bipyridyl or bipyridine. Some books are following this name and some other books are following this name. So that's why. So don't confuse with both are correct only. Frequently different books are using either dipyridyl or bipyridine. Okay. So this is the structure of the ligand and the symbol is bipy. Okay. See, here also two nitrogen atoms are the donor atoms. And next, dimethyl glyoxide. Dimethyl glyoxide. Okay, so this is a dimethyl glyoxide. And here also two nitrogen atoms are the donor atoms. Two nitrogen atoms are the donor atoms. And the symbol is HDMG. Okay, dimethyl glyoxide symbol is HDMG. Okay, next, orthophenanthrolin. Orthophenanthrolin. So here also two nitrogens are donor atoms. Okay, ortho, phenanthrolin, two nitrogen atoms are the donors. And the symbol is Ophen or Phenon. Both we can use. Okay, Ophen or Phenon. Next, biguanide. Biguanide. So here two nitrogens are the donor atoms. Okay, so biguanide. Two nitrogen. See these nitrogens, they cannot donate lone pair because they they involve in the delocalization. Okay, so the lone pairs on the nitrogen involve in the delocalization. So that's why they do not donate lone pairs. Only these two nitrogens they donate lone pairs. Okay, to the central metal atom or ion. And the symbol is HB. Okay, HBIG. Next, orthophenylene bis dimethyl arsine. Okay. Orthophenylin bis dimethyl arsine or simply diarsine. See here, arsenic atom is the donor atom. Okay, arsenic is the donor atom in this ligand and the symbol is 
either capital D or diars. Diars or capital D. Okay. Arthophenylene, bis dimethyl arsine or simply diarsine. Okay. So arsenic is the donor atom and this is the symbol D or diars. Okay. So this is the complete list of bidentate neutral ligands. Okay. So we discussed in this video bidentate negative ligands. Okay. And bidentate neutral ligand. Next we discuss tridentate ligands. Okay.